Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome back to the channel, Dan vs. Boot. I've eventually made it to Harrods after maybe an hour and a half, more than an hour and a half walk um, around London, central London. And in this episode, what I'm gonna be doing is going into Harrods Food Court, seeing how much food I can get for 50 quid. All right, let's head in. Oh, wow, it's so nice and warm in here. Like the perfect temperature, literally. So, oh God, I'm really, really hungry. Um, I have no idea where I'm going though. This place is like a maze. However, this is the dining hall there. So, let's go in there. Oh, maybe this is, um, is this the one? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so actually, I, I just asked in there, that's like sort of proper sit down restaurants inside of there. What I want is the, the food court. Yeah, um, and you're only allowed to choose one place in there as well. It's so busy. So let's go on a little hunt, try and find the map or ask somebody where the food court is. Okay. Oh yeah, wow. Look at those croissants and donuts. <laughs> Decorate out. Oh, the bakery. Oh, it's so busy in here and extremely hot. This is like arctic coat I've got now and I'm starting to sort of melt a little bit. It looks like just a cafe there. Posh coffee. Oh my word, look at all of this. Okay, wow. Look at that dressed native lobster. Dressed poached native lobster with smoke, whip, cod rope, pickled cucumbers, prawns and sapphire. 35 pounds. I'll get one of them. I only have 15 pound left. But that does look damn good. Check that out. Oh, what? It's around here, let's go over here. There's just so much, it's insane. Oh, this place is just like pure heaven on earth. Indian foods, nans, there's like sort of like a, a, a sheesh, sheesh maybe? Look at that wrap there, like a chicken and pomegranate wrap. All different kinds of caviar here. I'll just go to the most expensive one, 250 uh, grams, sorry, of beluga. Caviar House, £1,720 for 250 grams. That might be it there. Salmon, look at that, phallic salmon. Sushi, noodles, chicken, uh, uh, dim sum, uh, uh, duck. <laughs> Oh, there's like some like lobster rolls over here. Yeah, lobster roll for 18 pounds. There's that like avocado in there as well. Check that out. Oh my word. Shall I get one? I want a lobster roll. Uh, <laughs> Still 28 pounds, no. 32 pounds left, right? I think it's, um, I think it's doable. Oh, I don't want to break into this 50 pound note, but I have to, I have to break into it. Cut it in half for me. It's my starter. Thank so you. you. Have to just pay oh, we have to pay over here. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, I have to pay each time to queue up as well. So that's going to be a real pain, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't factor this possibility in, to be honest with you. That queue is quite long. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to get my 50 pounds worth food. Try to anyway. I don't know if I can hold it all and vlog at the same time though. Um, and then go and pay for it all, you know, together. Um, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, I'll figure it out. So I actually have a Harrods bag. What I'm going to do is, is just go around and we'll do what I wanted to do, is just go and eat 50 pounds worth of food. And then all of the containers which have the prices on the bottom, I'll just go to the cashier, pay for it all at once. So, okay. Let's get this lobster roll out. I'm gonna try it. It looks so damn good. All right, here it is. My first lobster roll in England and in Harrods. I mean, check that out. I got avocado. It looks like something else in there. I think it's just like lettuce. Okay, I can't wait any longer. so rich but like the mayonnaise or something that, that's in there mixed together i've never tasted anything like that before that's amazing i just want to like get the whole bit of lobster from the top there mm. Mm. Some avocado. avocado is falling everywhere <laughs> people are looking at me walking by what that guy doing 
Oh. That's definitely like cooked in butter as well. Really buttery, creamy, just like, yeah. <laughs> you know it's good, right? Mm. Salmon teriyaki, that's three pound 60. They also have that beef looks amazing as well. Kushiyari, chicken and her meatballs. Okay, now I'm gonna go for that salmon. Bugger it, gonna get one of the beefs as well. How can I not? I'm going for the salmon first. And they are huge chunks of salmon on there. Look at that. That's what I call the salmon stick. Meat stick, fish stick. God knows where that salmon's from. But it is literally the best in the world. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I love this place so much. I wish I was rich. Wish, sorry, can't even talk properly. It's excitement. Oh, that's quite friggin' good, guys. Mm. The beef as well. Mm -mm. I can't get it off. Mm. That's oh, really nice. It's so cheap as well. £2.55 for that. It's like a big stick. I would expect in Harrods for this to be like seven quid or something. Mmm. No. Check that out, guys. That's bloody good as well. Obviously. Okay, yeah, I can't resist. This just does look something else. All the herbs and the spices on there as well. Uh, maybe it's spicy, like chilli spicy. Okay. Oh, it says right there, I'm being stupid. Smoked aubergine and that's harissa paste. All right. Um, uh, anyone? Yep, they all look about the same. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, that's five pounds. Okay, okay. So let's just open this up if I can. Hold on, back you in a sec. Okay, here it is. More close up. This. Oh man, how am I gonna, <laughs> gonna have to pick this up with my fingers? <laughs> oh, it's so mushy and squidgy. How am I gonna eat this? Um, okay, I'm gonna go for it. What else can I do? But other than just go for it. God, it's like cheese on there. There's <laughs> this big one, sloppy, beautiful mess. <laughs> mm, I haven't really had harissa before. I've never like cooked with it or anything. But this is like some, oh, I can't even describe it. Okay. All that cheese. It's like really, not really rich, but it's just like really light. And, and yeah, perfectly good aubergine. What the hell? Well worth five pounds. I thought things were going to be more expensive in here. It's actually not that expensive. It is expensive, but it's not not that expensive. Mm. My word, that is like a perfect combination. And then the chickpeas. I think they might be like just deep fried chickpeas. Yeah, they're like crispy a little bit, crunchy on the outside, and then like soft in the middle. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty much thirty pounds so far for those, right? I'm gonna have to look at some cakes and stuff. I think maybe go to sweet now, possibly, or a drink. No, I think I need a drink. What have we got here? Harrods Cooler Lemon Wine smoothies i do want a juice i think that's definitely what i want um what's this one ah it's just watermelon i think so i'm gonna go for a watermelon <sighs> wow it's like asia
So I just checked the price, yeah, that was at £3.50. So I've got like, I'll just round it up to £16.50 left, I think. Yeah, I think so, or £17 something. Okay, so this has caught my eye as well. I, I, I had to go for something else savoury. Still on top, dinghy pork pie. Um, that is £4. Okay, thank you very much. Check this out. <laughs> Going for something proper British there. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's really dense. Mm. Mm, the cheese on my box. It's very, very, very cheesy. It's almost like burned, I think. Um, yeah, that is seriously heavy. That is um, not what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like more, maybe more soft pastry. But it seems like a very, very traditional old way of making pies. I think this is what they were probably used to be like. Um, yeah, very hard, very dense. Filling. Really, really filling. Well, okay, let me just try and get a little bit of the meat inside there. Mmm, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, that's the only way I can describe it. There's no way you can get a pork pie like this in any supermarket. Never. This is just an old traditional pork pie. <laughs> Hella good. Now, we are going to be getting to the desserts. Definitely dessert time, I think. Free ham, free ham. This is the only chest ham fair. Sorry? The only ham chestnut thing in the world. Okay, yeah. right. The ham chestnut something or other. Thank you. Mm. Oh wow. How many times have I said oh wow on this video? <laughs> oh, it's like really salty. I wouldn't say it completely melts in your mouth. It's still got a bit of firmness to it. It's not um, sliced super extra thinly. It's just amazing, basically. It really, really is. Where are the desserts? I've lost. I'm, I'm, I'm walking around in circles. Look at it all. Oh, it's too much. Can I please have the sticky toffee pudding one, please? Because they look so good. Um, oh, what are these? Five pound chocolate mini Victoria. Uh, one of the vanilla Victoria. Cakes are six fifty. Any slice. Okay, do you know what? I'll go for the Christmas pudding cake because there's like salted caramel in there. What? Okay, so I'm getting the salted caramel cake slice and then the small um, eclairy thing. I can't remember the name right now. Okay, bro. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay. Let me know if you need anything else. All right. Okay. Thanks. Here they are. Look at the size of that slice of cake. Well, there's no way on this planet Earth I am going to be able to eat all of that. That is just ginormous. I'm not really a fan of chocolate rich cakes anyway, so two bites of that and I'll have to take it back to uh, my family. But okay, let's try this. Is it salted caramel summon rubber? I can't even remember what it is now. Look at that. Look at the color of that. Oh my god, that's a big mouthful. Bigger than what I thought. I'm not lying. It's probably the best dessert I've ever had. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god, and it's so like crunchy. I think it's almonds. Like sugar. Mm, sugar coated almonds. And um, something else on top there. Some kind of fruit. Bloody hell. I'm sorry, but. That is friggin' amazeful. Seriously. Oh my god. I better put it down. Otherwise, I won't have enough space for a cake. I mean, I don't I don't even know how to pick this up. Jesus. Man. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh jeez. Oh god. What the hell? What the hell am I gonna do with this? How am I going to do this? Oh 
how how they make cake like so moist. I thought they had like layer of like butter or butterscotch cream and then the then what's it called the Oh god I don't even know now. Oh. Crop up Depident um, to the utmost extreme. That is a cake. Mm. Is that edible? Of course it is. Mm, what a mess. To me. Harris food book. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> oh, very amazing. Alright, I'm gonna try and put it down. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah, the cake sweats on now. Jeez. I really need to wash my hands. Okay, so all of that came to £38.15 and then £11.50 for the cakes. So, what's that? It's like 49 Oh god, I'm so full. I can't even do any maths at the moment. God damn. <laughs> um, oh, wow, uh, it is pretty much £50, right? I mean, what amazing food. The lobster roll, the salmon, the beef, the... Aubergine, oh my god, the aubergine, epic, absolutely epic, 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 um, and then the pork pie, and then all the cakes. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog today. I know I did. Um, 50 pounds here in Harrods Food Court, amazing. Have an awesome week, everyone, and Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Okay, peace out. I can't peace out. Ugh, peace out. <laughs>